What's up, everybody? I、uh, welcome back to my channel. For today's lesson, we are continue learning the provider package. So for today's lesson, we're going to talk about the provider widget and change notifier provider widget.、Uh, as you see from this、uh, class diagram, we will focus on the change notifier provider and the provider, and we will. We talk about what's the differences between each two and which one you're going to use. Okay, and if you are new to my channel,、uh, feel free to reach out to my channel page.、Uh, you will find a dark language tutorial, Flutter widget tutorial, GetX tutorial,、uh, Flutter network tutorial. Also, I have listed out a few app from scratch tutorial and the UI tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Some add my content and open the notification so you won't miss out the latest Flutter tutorial. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Let's first look at the provider widget. As we mentioned in our previous lesson, a provider、uh, is a wrapper around inherited widget to make them easy to use and more reusable. So basically, it's a another widget. Just wrapped around the inheritance widget, and let's look at the code example. Here, I create two files under this provider widget folder. One is counter, another one is a provider example. So let's look at what is inside this counter. Dotar. So the counter dotar is a very simple class. We define a inter number and give it zero. And we have two method: one to increase the number, and another one is decrease number. And we go also going to print out the number every time when we、uh, increase the number in our console. So for the provider example, it's a stateless the widget, and it's very simple. We have、uh, a title, a provider example, and we have two button: one to increase the number, and another one is decrease the number. And also we have the text widget and to show the current number. In order to use the provider, we gonna to wrap our provider example widget with the provider widget. So here I create this provider widget, and I specify I going to pass the counter model. So in the create attribute, and I pass this、uh, counter object. So all the descendant can access to the counter、uh, model, as you passed here, and you could ignore the type you specified, but I highly recommend you put it here so you will double check the、uh, model you pass if it match this、uh, generic type. Let me show you the diagram for this example. We have a material app, and under material is provider example, and we wrapped this provider example with our provider, associate with our counter model, so all the descendant widget can access to our counter model by using this consumer. Don't worry about the consumer. I'm going to talk it later. Okay, go back to Visual Studio Code. In provider example, I have wrapped. This text widget to elevated buttons inside this、uh, consumer widget. You may wonder what's this consumer. So as I mentioned before, the consumer will consume the data which you put into the provider if they are same type. So for the example, in our main dotter,、uh, we have a provider widget and we put this counter model. Into our provider, right? And in our example, we're using this consumer. We consume the same model, so we could get the data, which is this、uh, counter instance. So we could try to access it is attribute and it is instant method. The consumer widget has this builder attribute, which is required, and it will receive the build context. And a counter, as we specify in here, and also the widget, but the widget is nonable. So we will get this counter 
and we could access its number, right? And for those two buttons, I will access this counter dot increase method, and when I press the button, it will trigger this counter dot increase. Same for the counter decrease method. Okay, so I will uh, trigger those two methods when I press the button. Okay, so let's try for this provider example. So I trying to click this increase button, and when I click it, you will see I will print out the value which is one, and let's click again. So the number increased to two. However, the number shown on the screen doesn't change. So the reason is we're using the provider widget. So by default, provider widget doesn't update our UI. Uh, if you want to update your UI, or you want to use another widget, which is change notifier provider. If we're using this change notifier provider, every time we update the model, it will notify our consumer. So the consumer will going to rebuild any widget below it. So let's talk about the change notifier provider. And I'm going to comment out this provider example. And I'm comment out this change notifier provider example. Okay, so let's save it. And you see the title also changed to the change notifier provider example. Let's look at this uh, counter notifier. So for the counter notifier, we using a maxim which is change notifier. So every time we call the increase method, we first increase the number and also we call this notify listener. We'll uh, notify the consumer to review if necessary. And let's look at the change notify provider example. So for this example, uh, basically it's the same thing. Uh, we're using the consumer and we change the type to counter notifier. We could access to this uh, instant and we could access to it is attribute and show on the screen. So same for those two button and we're using the consumer. Okay. And back to this main daughter. So the difference is, is before we're using the provider. For well now we're going to change to change notifier provider and we will pass the module uh, which uh, using the maxin change notifier. So we could try this out and let's click this button to see if the number goes up. So let's click this increase button. As you see, the number actually increased. The reason because we're using the change notifier, you will notify the consumer every time we update it is attribute. Okay, so same for this decreased. As I mentioned, the consumer will rebuild any widget below it and you will find some situation you don't want to rebuild the UI. We could have another approach to solve this problem. So back to the visual studio code. And let me show you what it means. Let's open this change notifier and I'm going to comment out uh, this part and I'm comment this out. Okay, so I save the code and you see when I press this button and the number change, but the number inside the button also changed. You see they are changing together, right? So it means every time when I click this button, this button UI get rebuilt because we are access the number in our text widget as we showing here. So we trying to access this number attribute inside our counter notifier and we increase this counter so we get notified so our button also rebuild if you don't want to rebuild so you can have another approach you declare a counter notifier no change variable and you using this provider off and you put this counter notifier set the listener to false that means you don't want to listen to the state change Right. After you have this instant, 
you can put it in your elevated button. You can using the send instant to get this decreased method. So when I click the decrease button, it get decreased. And however, uh, it doesn't rebuild the UI. So let's see. And let me comment out this part and uncomment out this decrease with the number after it. So let's try to decrease the number. You see when I press the decrease, the decreased button doesn't repeat because I didn't wrap this uh, elevated button using the consumer. Instead, I use the provider of to access the instance by saying the listener to false. So that means I'm not going to listen any update from this instance I create. Right? I can still decrease the number, change the state of the model. Okay, that's for using change notify provider in a single page. Next, I'm going to create another page, uh, show you how you can use change notify provider in different page. So let's uncomment now this button. And when I press the button, I will navigate to the next page. Okay, so let's restart our application, make it to zero. And when I press this button, uh, I go to the next page. So inside this next page, uh, it's a stateless widget, uh, almost the same. We have the number uh, wrapped by this consumer. We can increase the number also wrapped by this consumer and same for the decrease. Okay, let's try. So when I press the button, oh, I got error. So that's the exactly I want to show you guys where the error come from. Okay, so so let's uh, dismiss it for now. The reason we got this error because uh, let's show you this diagram. Because for now our provider is on top of change notifier provider example, right? So let's look at the code in our main daughter. Our uh, change notifier provider is on top of the change notifier provider example. Right. However, we have the next page. So you have provider here and you're using, you're using the consumer trying to access the data inside the counter notifier. You're going to fail, right? So in order to solve this problem, you're going to change your provider on this material app. So for all the descendant can access to the provider and consume it. Okay, so let's uh, comment out this one and actually uh, editing okay so for here you see I put the provider on top of the material app so for now the next page can access to the provider and can get the data back and let's try it again so when I go to the next page, right, and I increase the counter to five, and I go back, and you see this counter number in the first page also changed to five. So because we share these counter notifier instance, so they are the same instance, you change in your second page, you will also reflect on your first page. So let's decrease to minus five. And back to the previous page, you see the number also get decreased to minus five, right? And for those two button, the first one I using the consumer, so the other one I don't using the consumer, so you can not see button which you rebuild, right? But the functional is still work. I can decrease here, right? Okay, I decrease to minus 15 and I go to the next page. It shows minus 15. Okay, for now, I hope you have more understand for the provider widget and change notifier provider widget. For the provider widget, it doesn't update the UI. And if you want to update UI, you're going to use the change notifier provider. And for your model, you're going to uh, using the change notifier maxing.
and you will call this notify listener every time you update the internal state okay so the consumer will rebuild any widget below it if you don't want to rebuild the widget you could consider using provide.off to access the instance okay so that's all for today's lesson so in the next uh, lesson i will talk about the future provider so if you haven't subscribed to my channel uh, feel free to uh, reach out to my channel page sum up my content and open a notification and i will see you in next one thanks for watching